So here's the deluxe version. See, it's got double the panels. We got six instead of three. I calculated a more exact focal point and curve too. So this thing's getting up there. That's what I'm talking about. Still just partly sunny too. Here's your outdoor temp. It's like 50 degrees. There's your water temp. Nice. A little windy today. Right now I'm not using the optional spinner, but I'll show you that in a second. Working great. Got a 175 reading. It's only 50 degrees Fahrenheit out here, and it's actually partly cloudy today. You can see that container directly in the focal point now. I made this one with kind of a deep focal point inside, but depending on how you align those, you can put the focal point anywhere you want. Here's the cardboard template I used. I drew four different parabolic curves and it corresponded to four different focal points. I went with the tightest curve. The tighter the curve, the farther back the focal point. So the one I used is right here. What I'll probably end up doing is cutting along the line here on the cardboard, placing it on the mirror, and then marking a line right on the glass to minimize the guessing. So each time you set up the mirrors, you can get the best parabolic curve. All right, different day. It's in the afternoon, November 3rd. About 70 out here. Light breeze and full sun. Let's see if we can get this thing up to 200. And by the way, I got on the spinner this time too. Let's take a reading. Oh man, so close. I was hoping for 200. There it is. Boom. 200. In like five minutes. Alright, looks like about 187, 188 maybe? 187? In terms of the build on this, I'm not going to go through too much because it's pretty self-explanatory. You just got the 3.5 by 7 inch mirrors, six of those standing, held up by the 2 inch brackets with the clamps. You got the 10 by 14 mirror on the bottom. That's pretty much that. What I will go through is the spinning stand, how I made the pot and pot container, and I'll show you some of the glass cutting. All right, so this is a one by six board. I'm gonna cut two eight inch sections. Alright, now let me show you how to turn these into this.
That was just a piece of scrap mirror I had, by the way. Finally came in handy. The only modification I would make to this is if you want it to be like totally waterproof, instead of the cardboard, just use corrugated plastic. They sell it at like the home stores and usually it's either a black or a white. But it's almost exactly the same as the cardboard, it's just made of plastic. And don't forget, a couple of one by sixes, eight inches long with a six inch Lazy Susan Baron and you got this thing on a spinner. For something like this, this is probably the perfect shape. It's kind of semi-parabolic, you know, you got the six mirrors and it makes kind of a semi-parabolic. You don't want it exact because then it's like a pinpoint of light. You want it kind of a diffuse sort of ball of light in the center, about the size of maybe a baseball. And that bottle and bottle design right there, that's about the perfect size. 